Hey friends and welcome back to another weekly favorites. I have to apologize. I was not able to put out a video this week. My plan is to do one vlog a week and then come on here Fridays and Saturdays and just um, do my weekly favorites and share some things with you. I got a really good mix here, but the reason why I didn't have a vlog out this week is because I just wanted to be outside. It was plus 30. I'm going to take advantage of it because we don't have a very long summer here and then as soon as September comes, fall hits, winter is here. Oof. When I retire, I picture myself being somewhere really warm like Florida, Hawaii, maybe Italy. Like those are the places that I should be at right now. <laughs> but I am not. But that's okay. I am very fortunate to live in a country where I can be free and do the things that I want and I'm very grateful for that. So I'm not going to complain there. I just hate the weather here. That's all. I just, ugh, I hate it. Before I get on to this video, I just want to say I am still doing my one meal a day. I'm still doing keto. I'm doing very well with it. And if you guys have any questions, I'm going to be filming a little bit more on my keto fasting journey. So if you have any questions down below, please leave them so that I can maybe answer them in that video. I also wasn't having the greatest week, I'm going to be honest. There's a few things that I'm kind of dealing with in my life that I know we're going to work out in the end. I'm not going to be too concerned about it now that I kind of just told myself that. <laughs> but beginning of this week, I was kind of dealing with something. But I think I have it all figured out. And I know in my heart it's going to work out. Anyways, I'm going to move move on to the, the reason why you guys are here. You guys want to see what um, I've been loving. Maybe I even have a fail. And I, and I do have one fail, unfortunately. I purchased. It's by L'Oreal. And it is a texturizing mist. I like to use texturizing mist in my hair because I like to take the waver to my hair. But I like it to look very beachy and kind of piecey. And I feel like this product does that and it's at the drugstore, it's affordable. I don't have to go to the salon or my suppliers to get a, um, a spray. I can just, I find this one to be just as good as the high end ones. I like this one because my hair still has some movement. It doesn't leave your hair like scrunchy. I can still put my fingers through it as well. And I do find that it gives me like a ton of body. So you can see, I just like how I don't feel like I have texturizing spray in my hair. And um, I recommend giving this one a try. And I don't feel like it leaves my hair um, greasy or like leaves that film in your hair. I just think it's a really nice product and that's why I repurchased it. Let me show you guys my shorts. I ended up getting these shorts at Old Navy and I love the way they sit on my waist. They're, I don't know if they're supposed to be high-waisted. They're more mid-waisted for me, which I prefer. I don't like anything like too, too high because then it just hits my belly button and I do have like a belly button ring. So I do like the way this sits on the hips for me. And not only that, let's see if you guys can see, they are not too short, but they are not too long. I find it very hard to find shorts that are long enough for me because I don't want to like show too much right here. So I do like the fact that it covers. I feel comfortable. I feel more my age and they are just super comfortable. It has this really cute detailing right here in the pockets. You can see. And they did have other colors, so I do plan on maybe going back and picking up another pair. I just, I have a very, very hard time finding a good pair, excuse me, a good pair of shorts. So I'm going to see if I can find these and link them down below for well, you guys. I'm going to move on to my skincare. I want to talk about this guy right here by The Ordinary. I ran out of my eye cream. I can't remember which one I was using. Oh, which one was it? No, I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> but I saw this in my mom's cupboard. Yes, one of the perks to living at your mom's house, you get to steal some of her products. So she has the, uh, the Ordinary. This is the Caffeine Solution 5%. I've used this in the past and I loved it. I told my mom I'm taking it from her, so she said yes. <laughs> I'm allowed to show you guys. Um, I love this. I think it's a great product. It's so affordable and it does the job. I feel like it fills in those like, um, well, not fills in, but it plumps up my fine lines. I feel like it does. It leaves my under eyes very, very smooth and my concealer still looks really good underneath. I just like the texture of this. It has that, that serum texture as opposed to a cream and I think I've told you guys this before I like to even double up my eye cream I like to use a serum underneath and put the cream on top which I'm still using the one by Olay Hendrickson which is the brightening one I love that one and I just really like this product and I just wanted to share with you guys again I just 
it's it's a good one so thank you mom this one is a newer product to me and i have to say i'm very very impressed i talked about the retinol reface by indeed labs which you can get at shoppers drug mart i will have their website linked down below too i been purchasing all these products with my own money they didn't send me any of these products i just really i'm really enjoying the brand and this is their q10 booster it looks like this the only disappointing part that i found with this product is when i opened it up it is only like i don't know if you guys can see that but it wasn't all the way to the top why now i'm not sure if all of their products are like that but i was kind of disappointed when i seen that i did pay 24.99 not overly priced not cheap either you know what i mean but i do love the product i use this in replace for my moisturizer my daily moisturizer mainly because my skin is just very oily in the summertime and i don't like to add anything too heavy on the skin but i still want some sort of benefits from like on my skin I do go in with a vitamin C serum you you know you're not really supposed to mix your vitamin C with any other serums if you are gonna do that they say to wait at least a half an hour sometimes I will wait a half an hour before I apply this sometimes I don't but I feel like it's safe to just wait till your vitamin C is at least not 100% dry but dry enough where you can go ahead and put on your moisturizer so I haven't really noticed a change really other than my skin is actually getting better. <laughs> That's all. That's all I've noticed. And I feel like with this, my skin just looks more plump, you know, like my, my skin feels more firm. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, Q10, this has, um, this has coenzyme Q10, which our body naturally produces it. And this also is uh has vitamin e and vitamin c which is going to help brighten the skin so i do think that this product is working very well for me i love the texture the texture is so nice it is a thicker serum and it absorbs really nice and it just feels so good i just think it's such a nice product so and it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like oily or greasy or anything it just feels like a really good moisturizer for the skin although it's not a moisturizer it is a serum so don't get those two things um, confused this is supposed to help you know boost collagen help with fine lines and wrinkles and help the texture of your skin as well so I am always looking for products that's gonna help with texture and get rid of my wrinkles so I really like this product and I do recommend it Moving on to makeup, I didn't wear a lot of makeup this week because it was so hot outside, but I did wear it at least twice. And I love everything that I put on, especially this little guy right here. This is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's one of their mini palettes. You guys, this is so good. I have the shade, I don't know where is the color, cream and sugar. I'm actually like, I'm really blown away by this palette, you guys, and it's so cheap it's so cheap <laughs> i know people like to use the word affordable but this is just it's cheap and it's good <laughs> um it's got great pigmentation and this palette just screams my name because i love just very um easy colors good everyday colors i don't wear a lot of color on my eye so this just speaks to me i just love the quality like i can't even get over how soft these are these are like so nice lighting is terrible just watch it but there you go yeah I'm just so impressed with this palette I love the way that it looks so I'll zoom you guys in a little bit closer Oof. yeah so this is what it looks like on the eyes if you guys want to see maybe a quick tutorial with me using this palette let me know in the comments I would love to try more of these mini palettes, so let me know in the comments which one is your favorite if you tried these yet. Another product by e.l.f. that I was really impressed with is this highlighting palette. It is the Glow Gleam Beam. The only shade that really disappoints me in this palette is the light shade, um, which is this one right here. It's, it doesn't really have like a lot of pigment and, oh, I can't really show. 
and it does have some glitter which I'm not a big fan of glitter because I have very large pores and they just kind of just sit in the skin and it doesn't look very flattering but the rest of these colors right here and right here are really really nice that is the one that I am wearing today it doesn't show any texture whatsoever I just stay very clear from this guy right here. I could use this as like an eye topper if I want to add like a little bit of shimmer. Elf highlighters have disappointed me in the past and I was kind of hesitant to try this one, but I'm really glad that I did. I really, really like it. Since we're on the same topic as Elf, I did try one product that I... It's a dud. It's a big, big dud for me. It is their glitter, their liquid glitter. Uh, what's this one called? This one's called Flirty Birdie and it looks like this. I thought this was going to be a dupe for the Stila ones which I do love but I won't be repurchasing because they just dry out on me like super fast. So I was looking for something that was a little bit more affordable. I'm kind of running out of room. It kind of like it swatches like really nice and it, I love the glitter in this one. The only issue that I had with this is that it didn't last on my eyes. It kind of almost just disappeared and even the glitter kind of wasn't there. I just had like spots of it. I don't know. It just didn't work for me. I even used it under a primer to see if it would work better. I tried to layer it. It just, it just wasn't, it wasn't good. <laughs> so I would definitely skip on this product by e.l.f. For my blush, I've been loving cream blushes, you guys. I didn't think that I would be into cream blushes again, but I am. A few years ago, I used to really love them, and then I kind of got out of them. Now I'm back into them again. But I love this by Milani. It is their Chick Chick. <laughs> it is their Cheek Kiss in the shade Pink Flirt. I am wearing that one today. And this is more on the thicker side compared to the Maybelline that I talked about last week. I think I like these ones a bit more because I do find that it lasts longer. They blend the same like the Maybelline one, very easy to use. I just like that it's a little bit thicker in texture. I know I'm kind of layering over the eyeshadows, but you guys will kind of get what it looks like. So that is the shade right there. It dries down really nice. It doesn't break up on my oily skin. I've just been really enjoying this product. And I do have to say that I do like it better than the Maybelline ones. Um, and I think the, the price point on both of them are pretty much the same. But if you were going to pick one of them to try, I would definitely go for the Milani ones. And on top of that, I've been using this one this week by... I was going to say Laura Mercier. I don't know why I get Laura Mercier and Liz Wattier mixed up, but I do. This is by Liz Wattier and it is their Baked Blush in Viva Havana. And it looks like this. This is the first time they actually came out with a baked blush in one of their collections. And I'm a sucker for their collections. You don't even know, you guys. I haven't purchased anything from any of their collections in a few years. At least a year anyways. But I just haven't been interested the last year year or two but i love this it's a very very soft pink and it's not overly pigmented either you do have to kind of build this shade up but i kind of like that in my blushes now to be honest with you i like a blush that i can build up the color that is such a terrible swatch ah. oh there you go there is the color right there but this is this is them layered very soft and very natural looking, but still adds a little bit of a pinky color to your cheeks. Love this product. If you were going to pick up anything from that collection, I would definitely pick up their blushes. There's only one blush, I have to say. I said blushes, but there's only one. They do have their baked bronzer that I've talked about in the past in uh, some of my older videos, and I love that bronzer. I need to actually repurchase it because mine broke, but I'm not gonna repurchase it this year because they do come out with it every summer. But in case you guys were wondering, both those products, the bronzer and this, I would definitely pick up. And lastly but not least, I am still using the Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine that I talked about last week, and I have the MAC Selena Lipstick. This is the, the second round of the collection that came out, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. It does pull a little bit more mauve. I'm going to swatch it in the back of my hand so you guys can see. This is a cream sheen, which is one of my favorite formulas from MAC. I just like that it still kind of gives that glossy, but it still has that creamy finish. This color is definitely dupable, so I wouldn't say go out and run and get it. 
but I do like the color and I've been enjoying it this week. And look how pretty this is. It has like a flower embossed in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I love it. I do like this one more than the first collection that came out. I didn't purchase anything else but the lipstick though. And on top of that, I have to add a gloss because I'm just a gloss girl this year. I just love glosses. Another one by e.l.f. Cosmetics. It is the Lip Plumping Gloss. I was watching somebody on Instagram, and actually she's from where I live. I don't know if she watches me, but I definitely watch her. I will link her Instagram down below. But she talked about this lip gloss that she really liked it, and she liked it better than the Buxom lip glosses, which I was a fan of Buxom their lip glosses a while back but I don't know every time I go back to them I just don't like the way they feel on my lips my lips just stay too cooling throughout the day and I don't like that to last throughout the day this just has that like tingle effect in the beginning but it doesn't last very long so um I do really like it and I have the shade champagne glam and I got this color because I don't really have a gloss that has like this like champagne gold color to it Okay, so that is the color right there. It works very well on its own, and I do feel like it does add a little bit of vavoom to my lips. <laughs> and um, I like that it's not uh, sticky or tacky. It's a little bit more on the, it's not too thin, but it's not too thick. So I feel like it does last a pretty long time, to be honest. That is everything that I wanted to share for my weekly favorites, and I'm getting lipstick all over my leg because I still have the MAC lipstick on my hand. This weekend is long weekend. We plan on maybe heading out to the lake or doing something like that. It's going to be in the 30s again, which I'm so looking forward to. I'm so happy that we are finally getting some really nice weather before September hits us. And yeah, that is everything, guys. I hope that you guys are having a great week and enjoy your weekend. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. I hope that you guys consider subscribing. I would love to have you here. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it and enjoyed it. Remember guys, before I let you go to love one another, we are all one, we are all the same. I will see you guys next time.